Welcome, everyone, to this episode of the Palmetto Guardian. I'm Sergeant Chelsea Baker. And I'm Sergeant Tim Andrews. And today we have Chief Atkinson with us, if you would like to introduce yourself to everybody. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm Chief Michael Atkinson. I uh, work with the G1, which is the personnel section for the South Carolina Army National Guard. Uh, I'm a HR technician, so I work specifically with uh, doing transactions uh, for uh, activating and deactivating those soldiers who are, are serving either within the state or on our various missions, as well as uh, abroad throughout the nation, as well as uh, deployed throughout the uh, different commands of the uh, the earth. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> That's it's a fun. lot to have to deal with. But specifically today, we are wanting to talk about TRICARE. It's a big topic of discussion. We've had a lot of people coming on and off orders in the past year. And so there's a lot of people who have unanswered questions about TRICARE and how it works and the different types of TRICARE and what you do when you come on and off orders. So um, if you just want to kind of just start going into that and We'll go from there. Oh, absolutely. Um, and most of our reservists know that uh, TRICARE Reserve Select is, is an option for them to be able to uh, to get care. It's at a premium, and it's a really low premium compared to what the civilian sector offers, and so it's a great program. Where many of the questions come in through our office is, what happens when I'm activated? Mm-hmm. What happens uh, to that insurance coverage, and how can I make sure that my family's taken care of during the transitions? And so with the civilian sector mindset, um, essentially, there are two options, uh, either prime or select, which is prime is free for those um, uh, for those who choose that. But the network's small and then select allows you to choose a little bit more on your medical providers. But there's a little bit of a premium. And so those soldiers can choose between those two uh, once they're activated. Now, like being uh, hired for a new job, it will take about a week to two weeks for that coverage to show up uh, in the TRICARE systems. But once that populates, they can reach out to TRICARE and select which, uh, which plan uh, benefits them and mm-hmm. their family at that p- point in time. Now, when you're saying um, activated, what specifically are you meaning with that? Like deployments when you're getting activated for like the natural disaster kind of orders? Like what is, is what entails into that? you're being activated? Great question. So uh, activation for tri- for TRICARE eligibility for prime or select is any order that isn't uh, annual training or state active duty that is more than 30 days. Um, so prime example, as you brought up, a deployment would definitely qualify for that. Um, we have many across the state right now in support of COVID operations, mm-hmm. and that is definitely eligible for TRICARE Prime from the day that they start on orders until the day that they refrad. Okay, and then, so going back to just a traditional M-Day soldier, they're eligible for which um, TRICARE plan? So that's TRICARE Reserve Select. Okay. So they'll, they'll pay, depending on either if they're a single or if they have dependents, they'll pay a premium based upon their dependency status, and that's paid directly to, uh, to TRICARE uh, and it's a monthly premium that they pay to have those selections of doctors in the area in which they live in. They don't necessarily have to go to a military installation. Okay. The one thing that I think is cool about that is that they can take it out of your drill check. So it's not something that you have to pay extra. Like you can have it to where it comes out of your monthly drill check and it's paid for. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but, um, With that, um, Andrews and myself were on orders. We're both technicians, and so as a technician, we can't have TRICARE, but when we were on orders, we were transitioned to TRICARE. But what are some things that you see, questions that people ask coming on and off orders? Because I know that um, a lot of times maybe the systems aren't updated correctly or information's not put in right. And if, like, what do they need to do to make sure that they're covered and they're not overlapping their coverage or they don't have coverage at all um for a traditional soldier like that's the last thing on my mind really coming off order so what are some tips or what are things that they can do to check on those um issues and that's a great question so um a lot of the times uh, the updates in the tricare system are based on transactions done here within the unit and within the state and so um when soldiers go on an order it will take as i said up to one to two weeks for that to update 
But if a soldier has an extension to that order, so if there's any change to that order, they could also expect to maybe see a lag of one to two weeks for that to be updated in the TRICARE systems. There's a great app up there, the Humana Military app for the TRICARE East region, where soldiers can go on to that app and uh, they can check for themselves whether or not that dependency um, or that plan eligibility has been updated in TRICARE. Um, they can also contact the TRICARE uh, customer service number, or there's even, if you don't want to wait on hold for an hour, <laughs> there's actually an ARNG hotline for M-Day soldiers to, uh, to go and contact them. They speak the M-Day talk. They talk guard talk, and that wait is sometimes up to five minutes instead of up to an hour, yeah. hour and a half, if I've heard some horror stories. Yeah. Andrews, do you have any? Mm. <laughs> no, this is, uh, since, uh, I mean, just because we're technicians and haven't really had to think about TRICARE. I mean, when I was M-Day, I was like, oh, yeah, like uh, 50 bucks just for just for me paying paying a month. I mean, that's that's pretty good. But, uh, no, nah, just sen since we're technicians and all. Um, I do have another question. So um, I was asked this question, actually, when I came off orders because, like a lot of people out there, I didn't realize that my TRICARE hadn't been stopped. And that my my full time insurance was all wacky. But um, a question that I was asked was, "Well, are you on TAMP?" And I'm like, "I don't know what that is. Like, what do you? What does that even mean? Can you kind of explain what TAMP is and how people can use that?" Absolutely. So, so TAMP is a benefit essentially after a set of orders. Uh, normally, it's a set of orders for a pre planned mission or a contingency operation, a deployment. Um, and so I'll talk about that life cycle of TRICARE for those mobilized soldiers on a contingency operation. Uh, before an, an order, a mobilization order starts, they're covered up to 180 days. Now, it may not be that they're entitled to 180 days, uh, but it would be up to 180 days. It really depends on when that mission uh, got the order to activate and, uh, and got approved by the Department of the Army. So if, if they got a short notice, they are going to be entitled to that early eligibility up to the date that they got the short notice. So they'll go through that early eligibility, was essentially getting the same benefits as if you're on an active duty order yourself. Uh, when you transition from the early eligibility to that first day that you're mobilized, you'll convert over to early eligibility to active duty service member, where you have essentially the the same options as early eligibility. When those soldiers go through that deployment, for however long it is, they're entitled to TRICARE Prime or Select, whatever fits their options. At the end of their mobilization, uh, there is a transaction that will essentially take them off of orders, and that's the day of their DD-214. Uh, once that has been uh, processed in our HR systems, uh, they are then entitled to 180 days of transitional, and that's what the uh, the, the TAMP acronym stands for, <coughs> transitional health care, to cover them uh, after they have made the sacrifice to their country, left their civilian employers. That gives them an opportunity to have health care coverage in the need that they need something to transition to uh, maybe a, their civilian employer or back on to TRICARE Reserve Select. Okay. Now, is there any other issues or concerns that you've had to face with soldiers um, that maybe we haven't talked about that you would like to share? Um, that's actually a good question. Most of those, uh, the topics that we've covered is where the majority of the questions lie. Really, for soldiers, if they uh, have any questions, um, they should reach out to their unit to make sure, as we talked about, the transactions were done, mm -hmm. uh, if they see any issues or problems. But to go to the app, if, if those transactions have been done and verified by HR professional at the unit, go to the app or contact TRICARE, and uh, they can really talk about the specifics because of uh, PII and protection mm -hmm. of their information. They can talk about the specifics of what their issues are and what the best resolution will be. Okay. And you still got nothing over there? Well, no, sir. I, <laughs> I, I, I actually appreciate it. Thank you for coming on the podcast. It's been very enlightening to uh, bring up bring up these uh, for us to uh, ask you these questions and uh, for to give the information out to the uh, viewer. And it's been really enlightening to hear all the stuff. Yeah, I'm glad that you came to talk to us because with the past year, I mean, we've had people coming on and off orders, orders getting extended. Everyone not really knowing what's going to happen in the future or it's just a day by day case kind of thing. And so we're trying 
as best as we can to use this platform to get this information out to the soldiers because they might be attached to a unit that's not theirs or they might be deploying or coming home from deployment. And I guarantee that if one soldier has a question about their TRICARE or coming on off orders, someone else is having the same issues. Because as a technician, if I'm having issues and I only caught it because I'm full time, what about these soldiers who are just M day and they're not thinking about all these things? They don't know that they need to reach out and check to make sure that their stuff's up to date, that it's been uh, switched to whatever uh, coverage that they're, uh, they're allowed to have and all that kind of stuff. So, and also I like that you bring up the app because today everything is technology and Mm -hmm. apps is just the click of a finger and um, it's easy access for soldiers to get information that they may not know where to go or what to do. And sometimes People don't like to call on the phone, like you said, sitting on hold for hours, but that's definitely helpful so that when you're coming on off orders, you can get on, check your eligibility and say, hey, like something's not right and reach out to somebody. So I'm glad that you were able to tell us about that as well. And if there'd be one thing I would reiterate is, uh, is with our, we have a new HR system and mm-hmm. it requires a couple people to touch it for audibility purposes, the, a transaction. And so for soldiers to remember that there is a little bit of a a time period in which to process it. And so just give it, if you know you're in a transitional period, give it a week, give it two weeks, be patient, allow the systems to work because when they do, everything updates the way that they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that time, check, check the app, uh, call into the uh, ARNG uh, hotline and uh, if, if there's still something wrong with eligibility, reach out to the unit and, and see what they could do to help uh, push that and uh, to make sure that we bridge that, uh, that coverage for those soldiers as quickly as possible. Awesome. Well, again, Chief, I really appreciate you coming in and talking to us about this. I'm sure this is a topic that we'll discuss in later videos and get some more information out to everybody. But um, for those of you who are listening and watching, we will be linking all of the um, – Contact information in the description below with the phone numbers, the emails, the um, the app that you can access. So definitely check that out. But um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and we will catch you guys in the next episode.